Hi, welcome again to another Smart Home Sunday. I'm going to show you what I've got set up in Home Assistant to control my Philips Hue Smart Home Light System. Those up there, it's part of the system. Now, I've earlier shown you in the Philips Hue app what I've done with the time-based light. So it's in the Hue Labs. So you go into Hue Labs and here you can see, for example, I have set up in one of the rooms down here, all the different times. So different kind of light, energized, bright, and this is pretty good actually. And then down the bottom here, you can tell how long you want a transition to occur between one light and the next. Now, this is quite good. That's straight out of the box with a Philips Hue. It's a Hue Labs um, formula and it works pretty well. Been using it for the last few months, talked about it earlier, and it's good. There's a couple of things I don't like about it though, and, and that is that you are limited to how many kind of groupings of time you can create, and you're also limited in the, that, that transition period. So it would be nice if when the light is turned on, it instantly goes to the color that you set for that time of day. But then if the light is already on and it approaches, say for example, midday, that you could transition maybe five, 10 minutes from one light temperature to the next. That's what I'm trying to create with Home Assistant. So let's take a look here. Uh, yes, those lights up there controlled by this one. Right, now watch what happens when I turn it on. Oh, you, you didn't notice, did you? Well, that's an energized light. So if I just change the color temperature here, and I'll just turn the light off. Now it was a warm, warm white light. Now I'll turn it back on. Ooh, look at that. So I have set up a home assistant automation and with the new, 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 new uh, firmware in the Philips Hue Hub and the new setup in Home Assistant, the latest version uh, from about June, everything's working so much faster. I did a video on that earlier too and I'm pleased to say it really is working fast. I mean, okay, I'm gonna set this to, again, a warm temperature. Now. When I turn the light off and turn it on again, the Philips Hue system is saying, okay, I'll turn it back to the last state, what the temperature was. So it's warm now, turn it off, turn it on. Philips Hue hub will say, I'll turn it back on warm. But then Home Assistant jumps in and says, uh uh, now it's time to be energized. So press the button. That was that, that, that quick. Can't believe it. Let me show you how it's happening, but I'm going to change that light back to something a little bit warmer and nicer. Ah, there we go. So let's have a look. I have in configuration, automations, two little automations set up here. So these lights are called office. I have one office energize on. So let's have a look at the automation. So here I am looking for the state of one of those light globes to change from off to on. That is gonna trigger this Home Assistant automation. But then I wanna check what time it is. And so I'm looking at the moment, recording this video quite late, but I'm looking for a period of time after midnight and before 10 a.m. Okay, so if that light goes on and it's between those times, it is going to activate the hue scene and it's in the group office the name of those lights and the scene office energize now this office energize scene that is set up in the philips hue hub and the name the group office also set up in the philips hue hub so if you go to the philips hue app and control everything these are the names and scenes and things you'll see there but i'm using the Home Assistant automation to just make changes on the fly. And you can see how quick it's working. Now the second automation is if the time uh, reaches, so the, the, the light's already on, but let's say it gets to the set time, what happens then? So let's have a look at that one. So here I'm saying that my normal energized time would be start at 5.30 in the morning. Now this is gonna be a rare 
situation. But if the time reaches 5.30 in the morning and one of those light globes is on, then I want to switch to Office Energize. So it's kind of the same thing, right? So one is triggering if the light goes on, check the time, set the scene. The other one is now the time, check if the light's on, and set the scene. So far, so good. I have one little problem, and that is that with this Office Energize timed, when a certain time of day is reached, I would like it to transition. <laughs> so in the Philips Hue formula, I can do those transitions very easily, very nicely, but I can't turn something instantly on. Now in Home Assistant, I can instantly change to the new scene and it's very fast, but I can't transition. However, there is an answer. I'll have it for you next week. I'm going to play around with uh, doing an API call from Home Assistant to the Philips Hue Hub because you can do an API call and I can say change to that scene and I can also set a transition period. I don't know how to do it yet. I just know in theory I can do it. So I need to get Home Assistant to call Philips Hue via the API directly, not the integration that I'm using here. And when I figure out how to do that, I'll tell you how to do it too. <sighs> I know that was a lot. That was a lot for one video, but now you get a bit of an idea. I'll try and do another go at explaining this whole thing when I've got all the pieces in place and I know it's 100% working, but this is the rough, as it's happening, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm trying to build and this is how it's working. So you can try and have a go yourself, follow along, have a bit of a play around with it. But uh, yeah, I'll try and do a uh, polished version of this once I've got everything working. But that's it for now. Smart Home Sunday, me tinkering around. It's a good thing to do on a Sunday night, late, very late. It's actually Monday, I better go. I'll see you tomorrow or today or yesterday? <laughs> Bye.